Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful silky flower. And all you need is some polyester fabric, such as curtain fabric, and a hot glue gun, and a candle. Singe the edge of all of your petals. Only the curved edge needs to be singed. It's not necessary to singe this section. And you can see how they all take on a curl as you do this. So you're going to do all of your petals. And that's the most time consuming part. It might take you five minutes to do all of them. And you can see how they all start curling. Okay, so it took me six minutes to singe all of my petals. And now we're going to start constructing our flower. We're going to start with the center. So we're going to take this one small petal. And we're going to use the curve to the outside. And I'm just going to curl it into a circle. So that it looks like this. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to add just a little dab of hot glue. Use your hot glue sparingly. Now we'll take the next petal, and we're going to start halfway behind this petal, and we're going to bring it around, and it goes about halfway. We're going to put a dot of hot glue right there and a little bit of hot glue right at the back of the petal also. And this is how it looks. Okay, here's my best tip. Have some water ready. And uh, it's not for in case you burn your fingers. I'll tell you in a moment what it's for. So we're going to place on our next petal. And we always start halfway 
from where one petal ended. So just put a little bit of glue there and we'll start the next petal. Wet your fingers and then you can hold on to that hot glue without burning yourself. So now we're going to wrap this one around and we're going to place in a hot glue there. Let me just show you how it's looking. So that's the center. We still have two petals left of the smallest size. So we'll just put one here. Start. Wet your fingers. Press it down. Curl around. Place a bit of glue. And this is how we're looking. Next petal. We're going to start here. Place the petal in. Wet your fingers, hold it down, bring the petal around, one small petal left. Place the petal into the glue, wet your fingers, bring it over, and a dot of glue. So there we have all of our small size petals. So now we're going to start with the next size. Glue here, petal in, Bring it around, glue, wet your fingers, tap it in. Okay. Dab of glue, place your petal, wet your finger, come around, place some glue, And this is how our flower is looking. Okay. Glue. Curve your petals to the outside. Place it in the glue. Bring it around. Dab of glue. Wet your finger. Tap it in place. Okay, so I'm just going to continue doing that. always start on the back of the previous petal. Come around. Bit of glue on the end of the petal. Position it. And another tip is that when you're done working on a project with a hot glue gun, you can always get rid of all of the little um, all of the little glue threads by just turning a hair dryer on them and they'll all just magically disappear. Here's how the flower is looking. Here's how we look so far. Now we're moving on to the next size of petals. As you start working with the larger petals, you're probably going to have to put one little pleat in them, like this. like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and pleat all of my petals. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've pleated the bottom edge of each one of these petals. Start on the back of the flower before and make sure your curves are to the outside. Okay, next petal. Dab of glue on the previous petal. And a dab of glue at the end of the petal. 
glab of dab of glue on the petal. Just make sure your curves are to the outside and nestle that in. And a dab of glue at the end of the petal. Dab of glue for the next petal. Place it in there. Dab of glue on the end. Dab of glue for the next petal. Place it in. Dab of glue at the end of the petal. Dab of glue for our next petal. Add the petal. Dab of glue at the end. Dab of glue for the next petal. Place the petal in the glue. Dab of glue at the end of the petal. Dab of glue for the next petal. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. And once you've done a few of these, you'll be on a roll. And you'll be able to move very quickly. So here's how our flower looks so far. And we still have it to stack up these large petals. So I'm going to go ahead and pleat the large petals in the same manner that I pleated the small ones. Apply some glue, wet your finger, pat it down. Fold a pleat, apply some glue, wet your fingers, pinch it down. Okay, I have all my large petals pleated and we're ready to go. So this is how our flower looked at the stage and it would be fine. You could stop here if you wanted to, but I'm going to add that last row of petals. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've added the last row of petals all the way around. And I'm going to turn it over here and show you. And this is what it looks like on the back. And if you're going to use it somewhere where the back is going to show, you could just fold up a piece of fabric and hot glue that right there to cover that up. And there it is in my hand. It covers my entire hand. 